What is validation? Validation is the process of checking data before it's accepted. This is often used in computer systems as it helps to avoid mistakes, errors, or even potential security risks, especially when data is being inputted. Whether you're filling out an online form, entering grades into a school database, or giving your banking details for an online purchase, validation ensures that the data is accurate, reliable, and useful. Without validation, we risk accepting data that's inaccurate or even harmful. Now what are the different types of validation checks and how does each one work? First up is the format check. This makes sure the data follows a specific format. The most common example is the format of a date. Whether you want the date entered with the year first, then the month and then the day, separated by forward slashes, or maybe you want the day first, then the month and then the year, followed by dashes. If you're entering a phone number, a format check ensures that it has the correct number of digits and symbols, like having numbers separated by brackets, and then three numbers followed by a dash followed by four numbers. And what about an email address? It ensures you have an at symbol and a domain name like student at school.com. Without the correct format, the system may reject the input. A great way to ensure the correct format is to use an input mask, which is a string of characters which indicates the format of valid input values. This is often used in databases like Microsoft Access Tables. There are special character codes that indicate a digit or a letter or any character. Maybe there are optional or compulsory values. All of these can be used in a coded string which defines the format. Here is a video which can tell you more about input masks in Microsoft Access Tables. The link will be in the description. Next is the data type check. This one ensures that the data type of the data entered matches what's expected. For instance, if a system asks for your age, it expects a number and not letters. And that it should also be a whole number, because no one ever says, hi, I'm 14.67 years old. So if you try to type in the word 15 instead of the actual number 15, or try to use a 14 with decimal numbers, the data type check will flag it as an error. So things like your age, your grade, or even your postal code should all be integer values. Salaries and prices should be a currency value. Birthdays and delivery dates should be a valid date format, while names and addresses should be a text or string format. Then we have a presence check. It just checks that you've entered something in a required field. Imagine filling out a form and you forget to enter your username. A presence check will prompt you saying, oops, you forgot to fill this out. Most systems make use of an asterisk to indicate if an input is compulsory or to warn you if you've missed something. In a programming language like Delphi, we can check that our radio group's item index is a negative 1, which is the value if no option was selected. Or checking if the length of an edit control is 0, because then nothing was entered in that edit control. A range check ensures that the data falls within a specific range. For example, if a high school system is recording your grade, a range check might ensure that the number you entered is between 8 and 12. If you accidentally type in a 14, the system should know that it's not possible and flag it. This can apply to a mark for an exam that must be between 0 and 100, or a value entered for a multiple choice question which can only be an A, B, C or D. Now the concept of a check digit for validation is interesting. It's a calculated digit that's used to check for errors. This one is a bit more technical. When you're dealing with products like credit card numbers or barcodes, a check digit is often used. The digit in the inputted value, often the last number, has a specific mathematical formula and criteria that it must follow using the other values in the input, in order for the whole input to be valid. If the check digit doesn't match the formula, the system knows that the number is either entered in incorrectly or someone just tried to guess a number. For example, a check digit formula called Lund's algorithm is used for credit card numbers and for ID numbers in certain countries like South Africa. So let's take a South African ID number that is 13 digits. The last digit, the number 3, is based on a formula using the first 12 digits. To calculate this, add all the digits of the ID number in odd positions, excluding the check digit. This should give us a total of 17, in this case. Then, take all the even digits and combine them next to each other as one number, and multiply that number by 2, and that will give us this number. We then add the individual digits of this number together, and get a total of 20, in this case. Then we add the two sums together, the 20 that we just found, and the 17 from the previous calculation, to get a 37, in this case. We then subtract the second character of the new sum from 10, which in this case is 10 minus 7, which gives us a 3. And this number should now equal to the 13th character and check digit of the ID number. So in this case, we have a valid ID number. 
Now, some systems do what's called a consistency check. This ensures that related data fields make sense together. Imagine you're entering your birth date and your age into a system. If you enter a birth date that makes you 50 years old, but you say you are 18, the system will flag that inconsistency. It's all about making sure the data lines up logically. Some validation techniques include a length check, which checks if the data is the correct length, like a cell phone number should be 10 characters in length. And then a lookup table is when the input is looked up in a table of acceptable values to see that it matches one of the correct options available. Like listing the name of the day which can only be a list of possible day names. Without validation we risk accepting data that's incorrect or even harmful. Invalid data can cause all sorts of problems. Incorrect reports, broken systems or even security breaches. If the data isn't solid, everything else falls apart, and that can create even more work as we can't trust the data. It can cause a company or person to make bad decisions based on incorrect information. Hackers could enter harmful data into the system, like commands that steal information or shut down the system. Even simple mistakes like entering the wrong amount in an invoice can lead to financial problems or confusion. So it's important for people and systems to always validate data. Like if you're shopping online and entering your credit card details, a format check ensures that the number looks like a valid card number, while the check digit confirms that it's a legitimate one. When a teacher enters in your marks, a range check ensures that you don't accidentally get a mark over 100. When you sign up for a new social media account, a presence check ensures that you don't miss out important details like your email or password. To sum up, Validation keeps our data accurate, safe and reliable. Remember, behind every reliable system is a good validation process, making sure everything runs smoothly. So if you're ever coding a program or setting up a spreadsheet or database, don't forget the important role of validation. For more computer terms, make sure that you click on that subscribe button at Mr. Long Computer Terms. Leave a like, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Also follow our other channels at Mr. Long RT and Cat, as well as on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.